Harmony One, did you guys get to non chord tones? No. Yeah, okay. We didn't get to the second section of non chord tones. So we went over like what a uh, appoggiatura is, but we didn't really study it because that was the, the second chapter of non chord tones. Oh, okay. Well, tell you what. Um, look, on the back side of the sheet is, I have a little, this little mash. Let's see what we can do and what we can't do. Here. We'll do the let's do this together out loud, okay? So on number one, it says approach by leap and left by step, usually in the opposite direction. It usually occurs on a strong leap. Which one do you think that would go with? What's the opposite of escape? A appoggiatura. It's a, yeah, that would be an appoggiatura. So that would go with letter E, appoggiatura. So, um, If I'm moving from, let's say, a, a one chord to a, that sounds like two in the first direction. Um, I'm going to do something okay, not so ambiguous, though. Oh, how about this? Okay. Well. <laughs> Yeah. 
Any other? Okay, let's go on to the next one. It says approach by step and left by step in the same direction. Yeah, that would be a passing tone. So what do we have passing? That'd be letter B, passing. Right, so an example of that would be um, if I'm going from a 1 to a 1, 6, let's say. And um, I decided to do this. So as I move I approach by step and lead by step in the same direction, passing. But this note is dissonant to this harmony here. The D is dissonant to the C harmony that's going on. So if I play a C chord, This is, this is the non-chord tone, and it's approach by step and left by step in the same direction as passing. Um, held over from the previous beat and resolved down by step. Yeah, no, you're right. right. Suspension, yeah, suspension. And pay attention to that down, because down and up in this, in this particular, well, actually, most of the definitions are very um, important how they resolve, whether they resolve down by step or up by step. So a suspension, a good example of a suspension is, let's say I had a, um, a two in first inversion. And then I was moving on to a, let's say a one, six, four. Um, or it could be repeated, but this D would be a suspension held over from the previous beat, resolved down by step. Suspended that C so that you can resolve it to C on the next tone. 
I, well, I suspended the C here so I could, so the, the C becomes a suspension here. This is, it's, it's resolved here, so it becomes part of the chord here. But then when the harmony changes again, it becomes now a non-chord tone and resolved again. So that's, well, that's why we call it a chain suspension, because it's like each voice is like trying to keep up step with the other one, you know? And it's always with one beat behind or something. Uh, Alberto, uh, that was kind of the uh, same question I had. I was going to ask uh, if you chose to put a suspension in that voice for any particular reason. In the tenor voice? Yeah. No, I could put it in the soprano voice if I wanted to. If I, if I wanted to um, do that same progression, uh, I could hold it like this and then resolve it. That's that, the key to C resolving. And then when I do the next one, um, Even in the bass voice, so you can have the upper harmonies, you know, um, if I had something in the bass. Resolving you know, down, and then and the bass resolving the suspension. You can do things like that. Left by step, right? Left by step, yeah. Suspension always left by step, yeah. So yeah, um, that's a good, it, so with non-chord tones, there are really two major components, how it's prepared and how it's resolved. So like the passing tone is prepared by being a non-chord tone and then becoming, uh, being a chord tone and then becoming a non-chord tone and finally resolving as a chord tone, right? Um, the suspension is prepared by being held over, so it doesn't move anywhere, the harmonies move around it and it stays the same well, the harmonies change and then resolves. So it's prepared by just holding on. Uh, and the appoggiatura is prepared by leaping up to this dissonance and then resolved down by step. So there's really two steps to each non chord tone its preparation and its resolution. Or how it